I'm off London. It's freaking cold here. I'm so happy to go back to the Caribbean and it's gonna be nice uh, to see my boat. But yeah, no, it was really cool sailing for the Clipper. I had a few days then in London, sort of bit some admin, edit again, and uh, now back to the Caribbean. Now I have about a month to wait for the final answer, whether if I get in or not for the Clipper and just sail around and after it will be lots of logistics to, to arrange but yeah no, just now go back to the Caribbean and the heat because like, look here, way too cold, don't like it. state of snow right now I'm really not sure I'm going to fly and I really need to be in St. Martin in like six hours because as soon as I arrive in the airport I don't even go to my boat I go to the marina in Fort Louis and pick up a 60 foot cat to deliver it to Antigua straight away and I have to be there before 6 p.m. to clear out and go to Antigua. So, I'm not sure this is going to work. back to my boat I'm going to the marina and taking a boat to Antigua because I need it tomorrow so I see my boat tomorrow I guess because I'm taking fly, flight back tomorrow morning yeah. pretty hectic but it's gonna be fun night sailing I like it all right thanks a lot bye bye made it so I made it to the boat. There it is, brand new. Have a crew member super switched on. Uh, already sorted out half of the thing for me. That's brilliant. And we're gonna take the dinghy up, try to start the engines, and go. It's a brand new boat, so lots of things will be happening, as always. Tu me dis quand t'es prête Ok, super Et euh, c'est bon, on a rien qui traîne dans l'eau Les lignes elles sont bien à bord Alright, when the deliver is like this On a brand new boat, there is nothing I'm not even sure I'm going to find a knife Yes, I did. Yeah, just doing some sandwiches to hold for the night and tomorrow morning, nice breakfast in Antigua. That's the plan. These deliveries are not good for sailing, but it's still nice to spend time on the water. Yeah. Always beautiful sunset and sunrise. At night there was like dolphins uh, swimming next to us. You yeah. could not see them, but you could see just the, the trail they were leaving in the water in the bioluminescence. Very nice. Yeah, just chilling there. The Tigua is right there. Should be there in about like two, two hours. Two 
hours now. Yeah. Drop the boat, take a plane, go back to St. Martin. Yeah. That's the plan. On a juste fini notre euh, delivery, notre voyage. Ah, pensé pensé quoi Fatigué. <rire> à part ça. Ah, c'était super cool. Ouais. On a presque vu des baleines. On a vu des baleines de loin. De loin. De loin. Tu vas faire un convoyage avec moi Non. Non, il a affreux. Je sais. Et on attend notre avion, qui est peut-être pas là. Depuis 9h30. <rire> Welcome back to the boat, the real one. Um, yeah, I arrived yesterday at night. I was so tired after traveling from the UK to Toronto to here, grabbing a boat, sailing overnight, barely sleep, to St. Martin, spend the day uh, to Antigua, spend the day there and come back. Just passed out and slept 12 hours in a row. Oh, no, not 12 hours, 10 hours in a row. Very nice. Now I need to take care of some admin going on shore to inflate the kayak because yesterday I borrowed the dinghy from the office which was much easier so going on shore, inflate the kayak, do some provisioning and then I have to figure out what I do with, with my life in the next few days. Basically, the only constraint I have really is to be on the 15th of March in BVI because I'm working there for a week charter. Apparently, basically, I have one month to chill around and decide what I want to do. to do the laundry, I went to do shopping, I still haven't finished to unpack, it's a big mess, as you can see, so cleaning time. And also I have some fixing to do in the front cabin, so. fixing in the front cabin see at the end I already don't have much space like this but now this thing fell down and so I have even less space like this so it ne this needs to go up and it was mounted with some sticker flex on the side and it ended up going down so I'm just going to stick it again with more sticker flex and it should probably work Boom, pro 
project of putting back the shelf done. It's not a mess at all. computer died recently well I got a new one but it's a PC before I had a Mac so who says new computer says new charger and before I had this here for the Mac which was really convenient um, it was just you know a car plug with a Mac adapter at the end so I could plug my um, my Mac directly into 12 volt the interest of this is that uh, you go from 12 volts to 19 volts to your computer. Otherwise, if you use uh, the inverter, I have a small inverter behind here. So that's here my inverter. So I could use this and just plug my computer directly into this with the normal charger and it would work but it's taking 12 volts the inverter brings 12 volts into 220 and then from 220 it takes it to 19 that's a lots of uh, power loss instead of going from 12 to 19 so now what I'm going to do I got another charger for my new laptop and I'm just going to use the adapter to go directly into 12 volts um, and I'm going to use this small device here. This is a, a converter that you can set. You can tell him, okay, I want you to take out this much voltage. So I can plug directly into 12 volts. That's the idea. just have to set this small card here see now it says 20 volts this was for my uh, pre for the small this small computer I use for routing and I just have to adjust this small screw here and turn it down to 19 there we go 19 and now the big test with the computer suspense yeah it works perfect one problem solved <laughs> 